Oh, yeah. What's up, Road Dog P1 production expert and or sweet cougar freak? I am Roy Golden Dorado myself, coming straight at you from around the side. Previously recorded now on YouTube Live. Go Google, like me. Hey, listen. Tonight I've got an audio treat so sweet your cochleas will swallow it all. Because it's an early morning in London, but a late night for me. And I am going through a balls deep dive inside my tiny mind telling you all about Omniville. My debut album, released 15 May 2016. It marks a 20-year 20 20 year plus journey to produce an album of all original music that goes straight from here, pointing to my heart, to your ears, pointing to your ears. Emotionally naked, sincere songwriting, country music, country music! That's me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you have missed any of my previous episodes, you can check them out at youtube.com slash Roy Golden Videos. Do it. Hopefully you'll be entertained, inspired, and encouraged to make the music you want to hear, be the change you need to see, and live the life you dare to dream. Why make believe when you can make be live like me? Thank you for staying out with me tonight. Let's get to some music, shall we? I love this song. I'm in the mood for a love song. Oh, I'm always in the mood for a love song, but I'm really in the mood for this song. It's so sweet. It is so sweet and precious. It's called My Everything. It's track number seven from my debut album, Omniville. Here is, ladies and gentlemen... My everything. There's a girl, she's my everything. She cheers me up, turns my head around, picks me up when I'm feeling down. There's a way, a way she touches me It starts a fire down deep inside A fire I just can't hide It's obvious to see She's my everything She's an angel by my side My shelter in the night The reason I still live Another day, but she ain't perfect by any means. She's hopelessly in love with me, and I can't believe my eyes when I wake up in the night and see her dreaming next to me. Is it all a lie? Is it all gonna end suddenly? Or will she look into my eyes and see what she means to me? That she's my everything. She's an angel by my side, my shelter in the night. The reason I still live another day. But she ain't perfect by any means She's hopelessly in love with me And when our time is through Will it only then just begin? Oh, forever won't be long enough For me to show love There's a girl 
was a girl Oh, she is my everything I can't tell you what it is she does to me But I love her And don't want to live without her She's my everything She's an angel by my side My shelter in the night The reason I still live another day But she ain't perfect by any means She's hopelessly in love with me She's my everything She's my What a sweet song. That is my everything from my debut album, Omniville. I love that song. I love that song very much. I loved classical piano. I love classical music. I love symphony orchestra. I love all kinds of music. Y'all know me by now, don't you? I'm wild about musics. I am. I listen to everything. All kinds. All kinds of music. Love country music. Love country music. Rock country music. Sing country music. I do not neglect other styles and genres, whatever they may be. And in this case, I preferred a classical style piano. Drums and bass on this album are played by James Ivey. Those tracks were recorded at Location Recordings in London, England, Europe. The other instruments were recorded in Nashville, Tennessee. Music City, USA, country music capital of the world. At the 515 Studio. That's North America. My vocals were recorded right here in my bedroom boy studio. <laughs> Fake bedroom. It's not even a real bedroom. It's got French doors for this little area. It's actually a den. But it's got a, a closet that I use for a vocal booth. I stand inside the closeted area. And then... And then... And then I've got a makeshift wall thingy that I made, which is a trifold door I got from Home Depot Depot. Put some little feet brackets on it and then draped it with heavy acoustic type materials. Mm -hmm, I did. Oh, I did. It makes a nice quiet vocal booth, believe it or not. If you listen closely now, I'm going to Stop talking for one second. You say, yo, thank you. Thank you. Just a little bit more of that. What if you can hear the noise floor right now. I've got uh, the fan on my cheese grater Mac Pro early 2009 Octo Core 2.26. And the outside air conditioner is on. Whenever I track vocals. I'll make sure the fan is not on the Mac and I will turn off the air conditioning unit, which is outside and you can hear it. And I'll turn off the refrigerator. I'll hit those circuits and I can get an exceptionally low noise ambience. Even more so than I've been in some studios who have a vent in the vocal booth or the booth where we're recording sounds. That vent can get really 
really obnoxious for delicate acoustic parts, particularly as my vocal was for this song, My Everything. I am so close to my manly reference cardioid with a custom valve tube. In that song, I and I am whispering, whispering. Oh, yeah, I'm just whispering. She's my everything. She's an angel by my side. Really working my microphone technique to maintain a, a constant level of air that I'm pushing for some of the louder parts. The loudest part of the song is, she's hopelessly in love with me. And it really forced me to work the mic in a very delicate fashion so that it all worked, gelled, glued. The magic of that microphone picking up the detailed nuance of my voice and some of those, uh, especially there's one part, we'll go back and listen to it in a, in a second. She's my everything. That closing the G. Thing. Very delicate. And it comes through beautifully, I think, in the mix, which was a very... Uh, appealing property to the recording it served the song that this microphone is is terrific it's my favorite it's the piece of gear that if i were to be stranded on a desert island which piece of gear would you have with you it it was uh immediately when i got asked that question it it's oh it's the microphone Starts there, you gotta starts all it starts and end it can end right there too. And of course preamps and converters and all everything in the chain is of exceptional importance. Let's not be wrong. But for me there is something special about that microphone with those components on my voice and the way that I use it. It's very unique. It's the set it's the exact sound that I want. It is a realism that is supernatural <laughs> no it is mm, sweet crowley sweet crowley mock the piano part classical piano was recorded in lima peru lima peru that's South America. Now I'm up to one, two, three, four cities in three different continents have contributed to this album. Significant parts. The other city is Dallas, Texas. I went to a local studio to record some acoustic guitar parts that I used. Uh, the one thing that I used was on Everything Wrong. It was perfect. It was, uh, it was a really, really hot summer day in June 2015. It was rough. It was rough that day because I cut the air conditioner off so that I wouldn't have the vent effect. And thank goodness I did. It was miserable in there, but I did get that take done. And I thought it was a very good result. So Dallas, Texas is the fifth city. It's five cities, three different continents, all contributed to the Omniville album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pianist name on this song is Jose Cespedes. Not the baseball player, the pianist. It was recorded in Lima, Peru. Recording engineer Daniel Leon recorded at Palco Music in Lima, Peru. Recording engineer Daniel Leon, Jose Cespedes. Beautiful part. Beautiful part. I had to have my classical style piano, a real 
luscious sound, fantastic recording engineering there. By Senor Daniel. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This was a very hard mix for me. This was very tricky. I also had a drum part that was done by James Ivey. Plays drums on the entire album. You can check James out over at pro-tools-expert.com. Place where I got most of my education over the last year as it pertains to mixing techniques and recording techniques and the business of music production. Inspirational sayings from old Russ Hughes over there. His quirky little articles. I just love them. I just love them. Love his articles. And his philosophy, his outlook. It's very positive. Very passionate. Like me. I get it. I appreciate him. I do. And I appreciate James and all the folks over there. Oh, Dan. Oh, yeah. Sweet Dan Cooper over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Peter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, great folks. Great folks over there at Pro Tools Expert. Check them out. I got some drums from James on this, and it's a very beautiful, jazzy-style snare brush. We'll run into that a little bit later. When's the last time you heard a snare brush on a country music album? Well, you're going to hear one on mine. I'm classy like that. Classy. The music is classy. In downtown Nashville, Tennessee, there is a feature outside the Country Music Hall of Fame building and museum adjacent to the Omni Hotel there in downtown Nashville. There is a retaining wall. As I was walking outside the building, headed out for a wild and rowdy night on the town in downtown Nashville, Tennessee, around about 2014, I noticed, actually it was before that, I was on my site visit, I noticed it then. It's my favorite feature. It's got quotations from the... From some of the most famous country music singers and songwriters and performers of all time. People like Conway Twitty, Hank Williams Sr., Waylon Jennings, Merle Haggard, and Sweet Dolly Parton. Mm. Sweet Dolly. Dolly's quote is, Country music is music with a lot of class. It's just ordinary stories told by ordinary people in an extraordinary way. I love that quote. I qualify. My music is classy. I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm the opposite of classy. I'm classless. <laughs> hmm, I am. But at least I do my best to make the music classy. As in classical, get it, get it. Yeah. Classical style violin, classical style piano. Where applicable, where applicably applicable. Yeah. I love that quote, and I've got some other stories about that I'll be sharing with you in a very near future. I love that feature, though. I love that feature, that retaining wall that uh, outside the Country Music Hall of Fame that has these quotes inscribed. It is written in stone, ladies and gentlemen. Written in stone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought about it whenever I got home from that trip. If somebody asked me, what, Roy, uh, uh, Dorado, Dorado, right over here, uh, uh, Dorado, uh, what is country music? Mm. Mm, Hello there. Here's my answer. Country music is, like Nashville, the heart of a songwriter. With each beat pumps pain, passion, love, life, and truth and the soul that keeps this heart alive is the song 
That's my definition of country music. Nashville, Music City, USA. Beat, beat, beat. The heartbeat, right? With each beat pumps pain. The heart of a songwriter. Nashville's a songwriting town. Nashville's a a music manufacturing town. And not just for country music. It is the country music capital of the world. There's no doubt about that. But all types of music. My heart goes out to the studios there that just that sit empty day after day. Too many days. It is too much fun to, to make your living as a as a songwriter or, or a producer or a, a, a studio musician, how great is it to come in for six hours, every five days a week, make a great living playing this music. That, oh, that was just so much in my element and fun whenever I, whenever I went to the 515 studio and, and tracked, uh, oversaw the session to... Uh, to track the rest of these instruments other than James's. I was in my element, man. It was great. What a great job. What a great gig. Do you like your job? Do you like your gig? Yeah, I do. No, but do you like your job? <laughs> yes, I do. I do love it. I want to crank out 11 songs a day, and let's go in there every single day, and let's do that. Let's do that, and we'll come back, and I've got 11 fresh ones for y'all the next day. Okay, let's go. Let's get to work. Man, what a great, what a great thought. That's a worthy goal. And I do have two more albums worth of material ready to roll right now. Right now. Just ain't even done with the first one yet. Hey, I've been hoarding for 20 years. <laughs> and I crank out new ones all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's way more. If you like what you're hearing, there's way more where this is coming from. So please, if you do enjoy it, the best way to support me is to keep watching these videos. And also, I want you to own me. Own that music. Go to your favorite online music retailer. Omniville, the 515 version, it's out now. It's not going to be around much longer just for a limited time until it's replaced by Omniville Unleashed. Buy them all. Buy them all. Truly helps me. Hmm. Let's talk about my everything. And as a matter of fact, let's hear the song again. And I'll stop and start with my comments and list of enhancements as they cross my mind. Here goes my everything, beginning of the Watoto list. Stop. It sounds like I... There's something that, that was panned right at the very beginning of this uh, at the very beginning of this song. It sounds like somebody sitting down in a chair. I don't know if that I haven't gone back in and looked at this mix. But I just want to make sure that I clean up all them little parts. So here, I'm gonna make a note. Now we'll total we'll talk. It should be obvious. It should be obvious. But I swear that something is there. It doesn't really bother me, but I notice it. Does that make sense? Okay, let's continue. There is no... This is a very free-flowing song. This is a love song. 
This is a love song. Love. If you know me, then you know that I truly feel there is no such thing as going too over the top or too lovey. Oh, it's just so sappy and lovey dovey. Well, yeah. It's not too much. It takes some creativity to come up with these things. What the what the heck ever happened to romance? The Renaissance area and era. I need that. I need that rebirth, that reawakening area. <laughs> mm, I do. Still trying to impress a girl 20 years later. <sighs> forever alone is me. I'm forever alone. Clean up junk, obvious. I'm staring me right in the face. Hmm. Very pretty fiddle violin. This is a violin. This is a violin with a classical piano. That's what that is. There. What I was referring to, though, there is no hook, as in we had. But you will notice I have a, a fetish for. I have a fetish for fiddle. It's. It's the perfect instrument for me to reinforce the melody. <laughs> oh, George. Mm, I'm getting all rhyming up in here. When I speak in a, and when I start speaking with alliteration, then you, then you know I'm in my zone. Uh, I love violin classical style, and especially paired with this huge piano part. Oh, it just sounds so good, so good. I want that intimacy and the brilliance of the recording engineering. Trevor Golden is the one who was recording engineer for the 515 studio during the session. He's He was a recording engineer for Greg Forsman's electric guitars and Dane Bryant's piano keys and Smith Curry's steel guitars and Jason Roller's beautiful violin slash fiddle style. They have a, a wonderful setup and a wonderful room for fiddle and or acoustic guitar and or vocals. A, a wonderful room. It sounds great. It's a little side side booth, but to me it's bigger than a booth. It's a, it's a small room. Piano. Oh, piano sounds great. Get a lit you get some live liveliness without being overly with that without the uh without the room's ambiance overwhelming that track. Just get a little bit of liveliness, that halo effect. That's what I love. I love just a little bit of halo and not so much with the over-the-top effects and reverbs and things of that nature. At least as it pertains to my music, that's, a, that's what I'm speaking now. Whatever serves the song best, if that serves the song best, that's what I use. But in general, for my music, I prefer a livey, vibey kind of feel with just a little bit of halo to, to give it not so dry, but, but still very close mic intimate, easily recognizable that's what i like that's what i go for let's continue there's a girl she's my everything she cheers me up turns my head around picks me up when i'm feeling down there's a way global fixes let's check these out again how they apply retract vocals using metronome the timings are not as atrocious during the slower songs during the ballads this song is very free-flowing there's some leeway there but i am not in time i'm not on time in fact i'm well behind where the energy of the song 
clickety-clack should be. I don't have to be so far out in front of it for this song. I And I can move back and forth. I can push and pull a bit more freely. But I need to make sure that I am starting on time. Especially so that my words can be more easily understood and more crisply understood. As I'm doing these video live casts repurposed for podcast use as well as I'm doing these I'm also getting in the groove of warming up because I will be retracking all the vocals for this album getting in the habit of forming my words emphasizing closing the words and emphasizing the beginnings of words, not rushing into the, the line as I deliver it, as I'm singing the line, but staying in the flow of the music, starting on time, making sure I, I hit my syllables and close the words fully and start the next one with no mumbling or stumbling. Getting rid of words that are too wordsy, phrasing it that is too wordsy that sounds great when it's on paper read in poetry, but that have no value as it pertains to enhancing the message of the song. If I can do it in less words, especially for fast songs, then I start chopping words. There's a movie on HBO now currently. It's called Genius. Stars Jude Law and Colin Firth. Here, let's look it up. Let's go Google it. Here it is. Mm-hmm. Colin Firth, Jude Law, Nicole Kidman, Laura Lenny, Kai Pierce, yeah. What a great cast. What a great movie. In this, oh, let's go to IMDb. Take me some IMDB. Thomas Wolf. A Chronicle of Max Perkins' Time as the book editor at Scribner. Yeah. Very cool. Great movie. The point I'm trying to make is as the editor, Max Perkins, the role played by Colin Firth. Jude Law played the role of Thomas Wolfe. Jude Law, Jude Law's character would exhibit this flowery overabundance of verbiage. The most beautifully orchestrated literary art that that I've heard in a long 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 time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right a long time long time Colin Firth's character the editor there's there's one scene in particular it's towards the first part of the movie where he reads the passage that was submitted And you can, he just, he's almost in tears. He just, he's shocked at the genius of the construction of these words. It is truly amazing. Paragraph upon paragraph keeps going for a minute or two. 
And at the end of the day, they'd stricken all that and they made it. Her eyes were blue. <laughs> the point was, it's great to be able to, to, to have access to all these words, a great vocabulary to communicate ideas. And there are many times when these words are available and important to use an, an overabundance of them to communicate said idea. But it got me thinking, is there a way in some of these songs, especially the fast ones, or in ones where phrasing it just seems to be a little... It, not forced, it, it all fits and it all sounds fine, especially when I read it out loud, but maybe there are some places that I can scale back a little bit. Watching that movie gave me that idea. This is not one of those songs. Everything's going to stay the same. Let's continue. The way she touches me It starts a fire down deep inside a fire I just can't hide. A fire down deep inside. Down deep inside. I love alliteration. I love the use of alliteration as a poetic method to communicate ideas, especially for, in my lyric. And I, I use it frequently, on purpose. Let's continue. It's obvious to see. She's my everything She's an angel by my side My shelter in the night The original line was She's like an angel by my side Why you simile? She's an angel by my side She's an angel She's the messenger She's a looky outer for. Yeah, a looky outer for. An angel. She's a, she's an angel by my side. Angels are watching over me. Well, she's real. She's here. She's she's by my side. She's she's watching out for me. Yeah. My shelter in the night. The reason I still live another day. If it weren't for her, mm, I don't know. May not, may not be here. <laughs> but she ain't perfect by any means. She's not perfect. Hey, like that. Before you put her up there on the pedestal, mm hmm, mm hmm. She's not perfect. She's hopelessly in love with me. Ooh, wee! <laughs> oh, what a line. Let's continue. The reason I still live another day But she ain't perfect by any means but She's hopelessly in love with me And I can't believe my eyes when I wake up in Right there And I can't believe my eyes And I can't believe my eyes And I And I and I can't believe my eyes. And I can't believe my eyes when I wake up in the night and see her dreaming next to me. The chord progression here is G, D, F sharp, E minor. G, D, F sharp, E minor. C C major 7 and then an A2 slash 9 just make your A and then take your ring finger off of the 5th string there it's that I use that a lot as my variation of A 
But I love this chord progression. Boom, 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 boom. Do, do, do. Is it all a lie? Is it all gonna end suddenly? <laughs> Let's listen to that part coming up. And see her dreaming next to me. Is it all a lie? Is it all gonna end suddenly? Or will she? The characteristic of that microphone comes out very well right there. Very well. Is it all gonna end suddenly? Lee? You hear that that little breathy thing that Lee at the end Lee Lee love that I love those detailed nuances that are being picked up and translated perfectly to the final product even after all the processing that's gone on the mixing the arranging the mastering the transcoding back to my ears and it still comes through that is a hard, that's impossibly hard. There's no way this should even sound the way that it does. It's a miracle that it's even halfway listenable with all the mistakes that I made in this original mix. But I believe in the song. I believe in the songs. I believe in... The music that I want to hear, I will look past some of those things. If that, if the song, if the essence of that song is there, it will override a lot of those mistakes. Same principle of band doing a demo tape on a less than four track, just a, a two channel cassette tape, and they do it somehow but the song is great it, it doesn't matter that medium it, it's captured right there on whatever it is in all of its technical mishap glory at least that's what i tell myself <laughs> gonna try to make it better though it's not a bedroom boy's best yet it's gonna be it's i'm gonna give you my best I'm gonna give you my best to make the, the album that I know I've got in me, in my head. I know it. It's coming at you. Look into my eyes and see what she means to me. That she's my everything. She's an angel by my side, my shelter in the night. Reason I still live another day But she ain't perfect by any means She's hopelessly in love with me And when our time is through Will it only then just begin? Looking forward to it Looking forward to spending an eternity with you My everything, me total Me total me toro. Mmm. Mmm, saradita bonita. Yeah, si, 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 si. I love how the song flows. As I said before, there's no real tag. It's just a free-flowing profession of love and gratitude towards my helpmate. My help, mate, my, my, my mate, my wifey wife that I don't have. Next, when our time is through, but it only then just begin. Oh, forever won't be long enough for me to show love. 
Forever won't be long enough for me to show my love. Mm-mm. Oh, girl, we're gonna get our, oh, we're gonna get our love making home forever. It won't be long enough. Mm. 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 Was it good for you too? Yeah, it wasn't good for me. It was great. Oh, it was. George, it was. Oh, let's continue. She is my everything I can't tell you what it is She does to me I can't tell you what it is She does to me I can't tell you what it is She does to me I've got to take that and make it sound not so Overly thought out But it needs to be More concise than it is in this particular instance that we just heard. Does that make sense? I can't tell you what it is she does to me. I can't tell you what it is she does to me. But I love her. This is a variation of the, uh, of the chord progression as well. Oops, here's my... Uh chord okay i can't tell you what it is she does to me it's it's that uh g d f sharp e minor a7 suspended but i love her there's our c c major seven don't want to live f f major seven without her back to that a She's my everything. Boom, boo, 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 boo. Do, 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 do. She's my everything. She's my everything. So on and so forth. Bachata style translation for this will have uh, have my guitar will do. Let's continue. Mi todo. But I love her and don't want to live. Is that F? Back to the A. She's my everything. She's an angel by my side, my shelter in the night. The reason I still live another day. But she ain't perfect by any means. She's hopelessly in love. Pero menti. Ella no es mi toro. Ella es mi vida. Yeah, but I lied. She's not my everything. She's my life. That's the big reveal from the Spanish translation. One. Prometi. Ella no es mi todo. Ella es mi vida. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dorado myself. Take it easy, Ray Dorado. That's me. Mm -hmm. Continue. We're almost done here. She's my everything. She's my everything. She's my everything. From my debut album, Omniville, that is My Everything, featuring Jose Cespedes on the piano.
Watoto list. Clean up junk, obvious. First part of the song. Part do. Part de. Oh, there is one more global change I haven't shared with you yet. Let's take a look at this. Oh, maybe I have. Find alternate take gems. I think this may be a song where there are no alternate takes. I'm pretty sure that we did this uh, the first time through and, and it was nice. It was nice. The feature player there is the piano. There's there's no multiple takes to that. That is what it is, and it's perfect, and it's beautiful. I need some more clarity in the piano, some EQ stuff. As far as the arrangement goes, I maybe even could do a little bit less. Potentially. Could do with a little bit less. As I started to describe to you earlier, the there I had a beautiful... Uh, drum part to this I was I was struggling getting the final mix and the arrangement um, it just the song just wasn't flowing right well I had I had muted the drums out to try and balance something else in the mix and all of a sudden it worked so there's no drums on this we go from very pronounced and heavy drums which is what I prefer in, in the majority of in, depending on the song, but in general, I like an overabundance of drums. I dig drums. That clicky kick, the ro that rock style drums, the Foo Fighters style drums, the Butch Vig drums, man. Mm -hmm. Bob Rock drums, Metallica drums, big drums, busy drums. Refined drums. Air on the side of refined. I always say what James Avi does. He'll air on the side of refined. Yeah. You know me, I like to go over the top, which is why I put people <laughs> in place around me to not let me go too far. Don't don't stray too far. It's like they got the uh, like you seen the kids that have the little safety umbilical cord thing. You know the parents are walking around Six Flags or pick your local amusement park thematic place. And you got these little four year olds just wanting to run around everywhere. Well, the parents have a belt that has this uh, <laughs> essentially a chain, a bungee chain, so the kids don't run off. Too far. That's what I need. To be all chained up. Don't go off the chain. <laughs> hmm. My everything. Clean up junk. Obvious. That's all I got. It's pretty. Rebalance and re-EQ and all that good stuff. Bringing those vocals out. Or retracking the vocals. Yeah, that plus our global changes. Find alternate take jams. Not really going to apply. Rework guitar arrangements. Meh. Rebalance and EQ, the, the bass is definitely going to help. I like the bass, okay? There were some EQ things I need to work out. Make sure something is always in focus. What's in focus now? What is it? It's going to be the vocal. There's virtually no place that the vocal rests. Bring those vocals way out front. I need to make it a just a little more out front on that. It wasn't too bad. It was sitting in the mix, of course. But for my genre, which is country music, I'd get this commercial ready. Those vocals need to need to be comparable. They may not have to be as far out in front as what you would hear on the radio. This is the music I want to hear, after all. First and foremost. But it needs to be way more out front than what it sounds like now. And then I don't think anybody's going to have a problem with how far out in front it actually is compared to other stuff this is this is a little it's a different mix it's different not better not worse just different i prefer my stuff to sit a little more in the mix so for a country album it's going to feel it's co compared to modern country it'll feel like the vocals aren't out in front quite as much 
think Hank Williams Jr. of the 80s, the vocals are going to be in front of that. His vocals would sit a little bit closer in the mix. They're still out front, but I... I always thought that he had some of the coolest mixes, more of rock influence than anything else, and a great kick. Oh, the best kick ever. It's the opening kick of All My Rowdy Friends. Don't believe me? Listen to it through a set of hi-fi mastering speakers. It moves air in a way that no other kick does past, present, or short-term future. That's my everything. I am Roy Golden. This is A Bedroom Boy's Best. Oh, yeah. We are burning this early morning London time oil. It's a late night for me. (laughs) It's an early morning in London, but a late night for me. What's up next? Oh my goodness. We go from One Last Ride. Da, 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 da. Remember that one? To My Everything with No Drums. Very soft. I'm I am all up I'm all up in that microphone. Mm, I am just right there, proximity. Oh, proximity, you can hear all, every little mouth noise I'm making as I make my syllables. And then, we get this. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am, from Tyler, Texas, USA, the rowdy romantic the Bocephus Bomber, the self-proclaimed king of karaoke San Diego, president of the Roan Tong Federation, Dorado myself, Roy Golden. That's hot. (laughs) 
from my debut album, Omniville, that is only temporary. That's my opening live show song. And I do the intro just like that every time. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, here I am. From Tyler, Texas, USA, the rowdy romantic, the Bocephus bomber, the self-proclaimed king of karaoke San Diego, president of the Road Dog Federation, Subroad Dog, Dorado myself, Roy Nolan. Oh, my goodness. How's 200 beats per minute to you? Just smashing you in the face right off the bat. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Hmm. Where do I begin? This was the last song I wrote lyrics first before I wrote melody. This was the last song I wrote. Yeah, that's accurate. That's the last song I wrote. It was I wrote this right before Kiss Another Wave. After Kiss Another Wave in 1999. That's October 1999. I wrote this maybe a month or two beforehand, same year. It was definitely summertime. I'm pretty sure it was around July. July, uh, maybe early August, but I'm thinking it was July 1999. The song I was listening to at the time, I'm a huge fan of Billy Pilgrim. I don't think I've mentioned that in a previous episode. Billy Pilgrim. You don't know Billy Pilgrim? Let's Google it. Go Google, like me. Let's Google Billy Pilgrim. Billy, Billy Pilgrim. <laughs> Billy Pilgrim, everybody. The the group. You're gonna recognize somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ready for this? Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Andrew Hira and Christian Bush. You know Christian Bush. If you're in country music, you know Christian Bush very much. Great songwriter. Both of these guys, a tremendous songwriter, musician, entertainer, singer. Folk rock duo. Broke up in 2001. One of my favorite, favorite, favoritest songs. I don't do covers, but if I did, I would cover Sweet Louisiana, Sweet Louisiana Sound from the album Bloom by Billy Pilgrim. Check it out. Very poetic, amazing vocals. Tremendous songwriters. It's just too bad they never got any real commercial traction. Pretty sure it was Atlantic that put out their uh, Bloom album. Pretty sure. Based in Atlanta, Georgia. Got a nice little following there in Atlanta for a while. Never got to see him live. Shame. Shame. Yep. The year... The year was, let's see, this would be summer of 1995. Between my freshman and sophomore years in high school in Natchitoches, Louisiana, I was laying out in the backyard in my Speedo. I was getting all lubricated and and getting my vitamin D's on. Mm, Listening to the radio, local radio station there in Natchitoches, Louisiana. 
and they played Billy Pilgrim's Sweet Louisiana Sound. Immediately, I percolated up. I percolated right up. What is this? Who is this? Got me on a river boat drifting down. Yep. Back to that sweet Louisiana sound. George! <laughs> Sweet Louisiana sound. They sang it just like that, too. Mm hmm. Love them. Love it. That's, I was listening to a song that, uh, that they had. I'd, got, I'd gotten a, uh, an underground copy of. A song called Wine, Women, Whiskey. This is the Wine, Women, Whiskey song. Cruising around on my pickup truck. I'm hot ass. Yeah. <laughs> They're a rowdy. It's a rowdy song. It's great. It's great stuff. And I thought, you know what? I need a rowdy party song. So I will use my songwriting method of projected experience. As in I pull from experience or I, I will project myself into a situation and attempt to identify the feelings and thoughts that I have in that situation, but it had not happened yet. I was only 19. Everybody knows I'm not a drinking man. I really, at that age, I wasn't. Everybody knows I'm not a drinking man, but, but tonight I'm going to make an exception to the rule. Then comes the genius Part. Remember us talking about Genius last song? Last song, that movie Genius? Remember that? This is a prime example, Dan, of reworking the lyrics on this song in particular. Pretty drastic changes that I've got. And I'll go over them with you now. Every, the original lyric is, everybody knows I'm not a drinking man, but tonight I'm going to make an exception to the rule. All that stays the same. Original lyric, my heart just got twisted and turned inside out. Nice alliteration, nice poetry. However, at 200 beats per minute, my heart just got twisted and turned inside out. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Hard to understand, hard to sing, hard to play. How about this? My heart got turned inside out. That works. Same thing. I'm working on this next line. That woman, that woman, Miss Lewis, that woman played her part. How about got turned inside out? She really played her part. Me, I played the fool. She really played her part. Me, I played her fool. Me, I played her fool. Something like that. I'm still kicking it around. It's the only one I didn't. On the brighter side of things, a new light shining on this old boss too. Ooh, this is only temporary. I gotta get her out of my head and forget the things my baby probably might have said. Probably might have said, that's fine. Except forget, uh, the original line is, and forget all the things my baby probably might have said. That's a lot of words. Too many. And forget the things. Forget the things my baby probably might have said. Just taking out that one, forget all the things, forget the things. It's one too many. 
Then a change to the underlying idea. Original line. I need to blur the pain until it don't seem real. All right, that's a that's an. I understand the idea and the concept. I'm trying to get across there. I. I need to blur the pain. Till it don't seem real, and stay another day in a memory too good to feel. Stay another day in a memory too good to feel. It's a very abstract concept. It's supposed to simulate as you're tying one on tonight. You just kind of start to lose a sense of time space. I'm not a drinking man, but I'm going to get plastered. And maybe in a state of plasteredness, I can finally put her out of my mind and get a little bit of relief from this heartache I've got. Yeah? Does that make sense? How about this, though? The title of the song is not being reinforced at all, except in the first line of the chorus. How's about this? We killed two birds with one stone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We be efficient with our resources. How's about this? It's only temporary. I've got to get her out of my head. And forget the things my baby probably might have said. If I can blur the pain until it don't seem real, I'll survive another night in a temporary mind of steel. I dig that. Only temporary. And then reinforce once again the, the uh, it's only for the moment. I'll survive another night. In a temporary mind of steel. Inside my tiny mind of steel. That was my... I was like, uh, inside my tiny mind. <laughs> Real steel. No, how about this? In a temporary mind of steel. You got a heart of steel. Got a mind of steel. Got nerves of steel. If I can... It's an if-then. It's Boolean. I'm Mr. Boolean here, Mr. Boolean Operation. If then statements, real dog. That's how I program. If if I can blur the pain till it don't seem real, till it does not seem real. Okay. I'm from Texas. Y'all don't speak Texas, do you? Well. People around here speak Texas, so they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if I can blur the pain until it don't seem real, I'll survive another night in a temporary mind of steel. I dig it. It's still a lot of words, but it's not too many words. It's it's right up to the point where if there's one more word, it's one word too many. No, no, no. Never said it. Never went over that line. I got right tiptoe right up to the line and then oop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That's me. That's me. Okay. Let's go over this one more time. We'll start talking about our Watodo list. That's one of the big things was reworking the chorus, reworking the the tag. If I can blur the pain until it don't seem real. Uh, the, and reinforcing um, a little bit of uh, uh, melodic structure as well. It's really harnessed the melodic structure whenever I started eliminating and rewriting, rewriting some words. It all helps to enhance the message of the song, which I think was being lost. I've got this great, rowdy, up-tempo tune. It's not really saying much because it's saying too much. Does that make sense? That's just my thought. I'm going to get it all fixed. We're going to give you a bedroom boy's best. Let's hear the song again, and I'll stop for some commentary and with Toto List items 
as we go through it. Here it is from my debut album, Omniville, the 515 version. Only temporary again. Let's see if I can do this intro again. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am. From Tyler, Texas, USA. The rowdy romantic, the Bocephus bomber, the self-proclaimed king of karaoke San Diego. President of the Road Dog Federation. Dorado myself, Roy Golden. Ah. Singing to the click track on this is going to help tremendously. I'm way off beat. Way off beat through the whole song. It, the band just leaves me behind from the beginning. Although one could make a cohesive argument that perhaps maybe this is a reflection of what's going on inside the story of the song and that this guy is just not on the same page as everybody else. <clears throat> That's a reach. I'm just off beat. <laughs> Next. My heart just got twisted and turned inside Whoa. out. Oh, Hear what I mean? My heart got turned inside out. Everybody knows I'm not a drinking man. But tonight I'm going to make an exception to the rule. Starting earlier and on time opens up the interpretation of that or opens up the delivery of that vocal so that it's not. I'm not coming in late and then doing this. The speed up, slow down, hit the highway 70 miles an hour, and then there's a red light again at the end. Not doing that. I come in on time. My heart got turned inside out. You know that woman played her part. Me, I played her fool. Well, on the brighter side of things, a new light shining on this old bar stove. Come in earlier got more space to deliver the rest of those words. Now, it's okay. It's still a lot of words, but as long as I'm on time, it's all good. It works. It just right up to the point of crossing the line of too many, but it's not quite. Right? Let's continue. Amazing fiddle solo there by Jason Roller. And some great steel guitar work. Dirty Lappy by Smith Curry. I feel as though I need to make a Watoto change. Let's do a Watoto change. Only temporary. Only temporary. Lyric rewrite. Then and then. Fiddle solo.
needs moisture. Seemed a little dry to me. Need a bit more room. Live, lively room for this one. I think will help enhance the message of the song. And I can do that where I've got it placed on the album. Because remember those drums were not there on My Everything? Track 7, this comes after My Everything. I, I can get a little more cohesive, a little more roomy, a little more livey, jivey, vibey feel. I think I'm going to try that. No, Bybee, don't fix me. I know what I'm writing. There. So what I wrote was, only temporary, a lyric rewrite, fiddle solo, first chorus needs moisture. Get a little bit more lubed up. More roomy on band mix, livey vibey feel. Feel. How do you feel? I feel like I need some more livey, vibey feel. Mm. Mm, yeah, livey, vibey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to really work, I think, for this song. Let's get back to it. Only temporary. Everybody knows I'm not a dancing man. Ah. But tonight I'm gonna sc- okay, when we come back to it, Everybody knows I'm not a drinking man. I'm not a dancing man. But what am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get drunk tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna make an exception to the rule. I'm gonna get all lubricated up and I'm gonna get out there and cut the rug, baby. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show off my moves. Show off my dad bod moves. Tonight I'm gonna scoot in my boots across the floor. Two step, three step, one night stand. Ooh, I've got some ideas of what this redhead has in store. Our party reaches on till the early morning dawn, and I just don't think I can take any more. All right, lyrics are fine for that. I just need to come in on time. Extend the length of the phrasing out just a little bit. Extend. And then... Music, musical interpretation. We already had the musicians that can make their instrument talk speech for everything wrong a little bit earlier, one of the earlier episodes. Pretty sure it was part two of this. A Bedroom Boy's Best, only temporary. A Bedroom Boy's Best, Omniville 515 recap. Musicians that can make it talk. Listen when I come back to the song. One of my favorite parts of this song. Oh, this is a good time to get into it. Dane Bryant, showcasing some Dane Bryant work here. Really one of the hidden heroes, if there is such thing, because his piano parts I typically utilize in a masking situation to provide some undercurrent of energy to the tracks. So although we're not hearing his piano overtly, unless it's a solo, as in a solo he had for Doesn't Anybody Wanna?, or a solo that he has on a where wherever I go song we'll get to in a bit. Normally we don't hear his playing, but it's there. It's there, and I use it as uh, a, a subtle as a masked instrument that is providing energy and glue to the energy of the track. Energy and glue to the energy of the track. Yeah. 
not redundant. Mm -mm. It's providing energy to the energy. It's adding to the energy. So, <laughs> energize that. <laughs> mm, yeah. I do like it. When we come back to it, listen, panned hard right. He's playing a part on his electric piano. It's little... He, he sampled it somehow. What I did is I took his part, ran it through a virtual guitar amp, crushed it with some virtual tape simulator, and panned it hard right as if it were a guitar. And I love the sound of it. I think it works really well with what Greg Forsman has going on with, her, with the guitar that's panned hard left. This little next part, though, scoot my boots across the floor. It sounds like the picture I've got in my mind is uh, here's this guy. He is he is providing sound effect comedic relief as he's watching dad bod guy me out there on the floor drunk and just scooting the boot. <laughs> Listen to it. You ready? Paying hard ride, here we go. Listen to Dane Bryant's interpretation of my dancing. My boots across the floor. Two step, three step <laughs> on that stand. Oh, oh. I've got some ideas of what this Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. What Toto list fix? This has more to do the Remember, always make sure something's in focus. Well, that are really elect electric it with a K. Uh, a painting electric guitar. Two different mm, sound space. Sound stage. Four fills. Try panning electric guitar to different sound stage space for fills. Just try. I'm going to give it a listen. Doesn't really have to do so much with the arrangement, but maybe I can isolate a, a space in the mix that will help the focus without messing too much with volume controls. Does that make sense? I'm just going to try it. going to try it. See if it works. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. We'll see. No more speculation. Let's continue. It has in store. <laughs> Our party ranges on till the early morning dawn and I just don't think I can take any more. I had a wild night. Dorado's three keys to cure heartbreak. Drinking, dancing, doggy styling. Oh, it'll cure it, but that cure is only temporary. Mm -hmm. It'll cure your heartache, but it's only temporary. <laughs> Uh, drinking, dancing, doggy styling. There you go. Dorado's cure for heartbreak. Let's continue. Remember that? Forget all the things my baby probably... Number one, started too late. Number two, too many words. And forget the things my baby probably might have said. Not. And forget all the things my baby probably might have said. Oh, man. Way off. Way off. Way off. Way the math off. Next. Pain enough 
Remember the new words, the new line? If I can blur the pain until it don't seem real, I'll survive another night in a temporary mind of steel. It's only temporary, I've got to get her out of my head and forget the things my baby probably might have said. If I can blur the pain until it don't seem real, I'll survive another night in a temporary mind of steel. I'll survive another night in a temporary mind of steel. Oh, yeah. And I run around the stage and high five and do a power slide, the second base, get up, dust myself off, call for time. Yeah. And off we go in the show. Come see me live, for goodness sakes. We'll have a grand old time. Can't wait to see you live. It's different. It is so different. When we're sharing that intimate emotional connection through the magic of music, live. Oh, dang. Mm, love. I love that thought. I want to see you there. Mm, I do. Continue. As claustrophobic as this mix is making me as I listen to it, there's a lot of energy in it, and it's going to work. It it actually does better, and I remember when I was mixing this. At first, I eliminated all the miscellaneous. <clears throat> at first, I eliminated all the miscellaneous. I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it became too isolated and glueless. It felt way better to have a little more busyness and masking going on as a as an entire product. It it suited the song better than I know not better, not worse, but better in the sense of it was a it was a more efficient transfer of the idea of the song. There was a bit more energy that was present. Whereas getting vocals that are out of alignment anyway, the, the least thing we can have is some energy created by the band. And there was more energy created by the band whenever I had a bit more busyness in the mix and a little more masking going on. It's just a poor job of focusing each instrument during the fills. That's why I'm considering, instead of doing volume changes, carving out some space on the soundstage. Remember this with Toto List idea? Try panning electric guitar to different soundstage space for fills, and I may even do that for the other instruments as well, depending on how I like this. So instead of taking their normal place, if they've got a fill or a solo, I may put them in a, in a here's the solo spot in the mix, right? Here's your normal spot, just like you're on a stage, just like we're on a stage live. When it's your time to shine, you're out there in front with me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You go from your designated area with the visuals of the show. It's very nice choreographed. It's a show. It's not a concert. It's a produced event that I've done a million and billion times once we get done with this. 
And then that way I can focus on the performance aspect of it. And I'm not thinking, oh my gosh, what's this chord change? What's coming next? I, it's muscle memory, as I said. It's all muscle memory. Each note, each step, each choreographed part, it's all timed and clicked. It's a click track going, and I am that that's me. That's how I operate. This is very definite repetition. I need a billion reps. A such a trillion reps. That's what I need. Mm-hmm. Get it right. So as we're, as I'm imagining this, this big rowdy live show, this song that kicks everything off. More roomy on band mix. I think that's going to give me some of the glue that I need that will take that the isolation aspect that I was just complaining about whenever I, whenever I uh, uh, would would automate volume down or mute a section felt like it just lost something and then it would pop back in and it's just bop, 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 one after the other maybe a little more roomy on that band mix is going to give me the type of glue that i'm looking for and a little more leeway to work some volume automation to help things get in focus and then also Designating a place in the mix for any solo and fill instruments. That's my Watoto list. Plus the lyric rewrite and our global changes at the bass and the drums and everything. Oh man, that's going to be a hot song. I may even see about releasing that to radio. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. All right, let's continue. Greg Forsman there on that solo. Hot stuff. What isn't coming through is the speed at which he is hitting those notes. It sounds really fast, but the mix is actually so terrible. When when I solo that, it's it is just it's something special. Same thing on Jason Roller. This little thing he does at the end, listen to the fiddle. It's band about uh, left 45 on a scale of 0 to 100. It's at about 45 left. Listen to the fiddle at the end of the song. The little... Like it was nothing. It, it is super fast. Yeah, let's listen to it all the way through the end. Exactly my point. You can't hear it. <laughs> oh, snap. Gotcha. He does this thing that's... But it's being covered up. My bad, road dog. <laughs> I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. It's my Watoto list. There you go. There you go. My Watoto list, real dog. Here. Jason Fiddle Outro. Oh, Jason Fiddle Outro. Outre? No. What are you doing? Clean up. Uh... Bring out, illuminate. Mm. 
Eliminate. <laughs> illuminate. Illuminate fiddle outro. Yeah. Save. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am Roy Golden, Dorado myself. Hopefully, you've been entertained, inspired, and encouraged to make the music you want to hear. Be the change you need to see and live the life you dare to dream. Why make believe when you can make be live? Like me. Later, Road Dog.